Hey there, we are going to be drawing a carrot. Now, the way we're gonna do this though is we're going to practice drawing it four times because the best way to get better at drawing anything or mastering any skill is by practicing over and over and over again. All right, so let's get started. You will need a paper that looks like this a pencil with an eraser, or if you don't have an eraser, a separate eraser. And let's go ahead and start off by filling out the top of the paper. So at the top, write your name. So since I'm Miss Javeri, I will write that. You will write your name. Write the first letter of your teacher's name and then circle what grade you're in. So what I like to do is I like for students to practice drawing the same thing over multiple times in order to get better. It's never going to look like this the first time you draw. So if you practice it by the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth time, it's just a better version of what you drew the first time. So in this top left box, you're going to draw your first attempt of the carrot. Now, what I like to do is I like to make it easy the first time because we're not quite there yet in the skill. So if you notice, um, one thing about drawing shapes is you want to, uh, or drawing something, you want to think about what shapes you see. So just by looking at this, you kind of see a triangle. So you're going to take this and draw a triangle. And it's okay if your triangle looks um, not quite what you want it to be. So don't even focus on this anymore, just draw your triangle. Draw your upside down triangle, okay? Then the next thing I want you to think about is like, we want it to look more like a rounded carrot, right? So just draw a bunch of lines. Okay, then at the top, we wanna draw the leaves. So you're gonna take it and just draw some curvy looking lines. Don't worry too much on, oh, it doesn't look like a carrot or, oh, I messed up, that's okay. Mistakes happen, mistakes happen, okay? Then we're gonna go to this next one and feel free to pause the video throughout. Now, we have this triangle here, right? I want you to take it, draw it again, and I want you to kind of smoothen it. Okay. And I don't ever press dark. I don't ever press dark because the darker you press, first of all, then when you try to erase it's so much harder and then when you even color with crayon the pencil shows up more than the crayon so make these softer little corners now don't make it so triangular-ish make it more uh, curved okay now these straight lines here i don't want you to make them so straight i want you to make them a little bit more rounded, just a little bit curvy, okay? And then for this, draw your straight line, draw one, two, three, bring it back down. Go up, one, two, three, bring it down. One, two, three, bring it down, okay? Then over here, box number three. What I like is always referring to my previous drawing for my next drawing, because then I look at it and I'm like, ooh, this is something I could have changed. 
So let me zoom out. Okay, so we can always look at this to do this. Once again, now I'm just critiquing my work. Critique means you look at it and you're like, oh, what could I have changed? I feel like this is a bit too wide. I want to bring it in just a little bit more. So I'm gonna do it again and make my triangle. And okay, let's say you're still struggling. Let me just, sorry. Let's say you're still struggling. What I love about art is you can draw that triangle that you've always had, okay? Use that as a guide and then go in darker with your pencil, curve your triangle even more, okay? Then you take it and you erase. And then you go in and you're like, okay, let's make the triangle pointier here. Make your adjustments where you want. Notice how much more thought is going in to the drawing. Because now you're comfortable making it and now you're like, okay, where do I want to make changes so it'll look real? Then curve this even more. This will give it a curved look. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just look at how far you've come from drawing number one to drawing number two to drawing number three. We're gonna do this one more time. Okay. Same thing, if you feel comfortable drawing a triangle first, then rounding it, that's totally fine. If you feel like you've got it and you know what you want to do, then draw that as well. I'm going to go ahead and still do the triangle for my friends that, you know, want that guidance. I'm gonna draw that little triangle. And you might even notice as you're drawing, you're changing the size. See, this was so wide. This has become more shrunk. So like that. And then I'm gonna go in darker with my pencil. Curve it. Curve those lines, take your eraser, clean it up. And go in, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Perfect and look at that carrot that you've made. And you know what? It doesn't have to stop. You can keep going on the back and draw it again and again and add more detail. But just look at how far you've come just by drawing it four times.